Okay guys, so I apologize that I have not posted a video in like over a week. I'm filming one tonight when I do my hair and makeup. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I need your guys' like input, like on what videos you do want to see. Jacob told me the other, yesterday he wanted to film like a QA. and a So is that something you'd like to see? I've done one with Carol Ann, um, but I haven't done one with him yet. Uh, I've just been with, busy with work. And like I said, then sometimes I get stumped on what, I, what to film because I don't, I'm gonna put out put out like boring content for you guys. I want it to be something you would like actually enjoy. And so yeah, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm probably gonna go live here in a little bit and paint my nails. So that's something I wanna do. Um yeah, I just wa watched what I have something on TV right now. Um I'm really excited for Halloween. And if I haven't tell, told you, I finally decided I'm not my costume just literally minutes before I filmed that or, or started filming this. Brian should be ordering my stuff off of Amazon right now. Um, put the put um, your guess in the comments below what you think I'm going to be. Some of the costumes that I was going to do, but time got the best of me, was Brian and I were going to go as Buddy the Elf and Jovi um, from Elf which that would have been freaking awesome maybe next year um i also wanted to do like chucky doll thought about doing that because that would be fun um what's some other ones my friend is having a halloween party and i think i have to go out and buy some stuff for that today uh i think i'm gonna be an 80s girl super simple i've done it before um i'm trying to think what else was i gonna be I don't remember, but I had like five different things I wanted to go as. And I finally decided on this one thing. And if you know me, once you see my costume, you're going to be not shocked in any way, shape or form. So yeah, we're going to be uh, celebrating Halloween at Jacob's house this year. Where we live, I don't like the way they're doing trick-or-treating this year. I'm kind of like old school. I love the whole going to doors, knocking and everything. And where we live, they're not doing that. They want us all to like bundle up at one specific spot and then just basically pass out candy, which I guess, sure. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't like that idea. I'd rather just you know, do the old school, go door to door. Like that makes the experience, I guess. So we're going to Jacob's this year. Um, I actually got to go get some candy for that. And I'm going to buy, I, be, I know Jacob's going to buy a ton. I know Brian goes crazy and buys a ton. So me this year, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy like the full size candy bars and that. I think that's really fun. And, um, yeah, because we're really, like really into this. Jacob and his girlfriend's costume, freaking awesome. Can't wait for you guys to see that. I think Caleb will be at Jacob's, and I know what Brian's going to be, which once you once you see the costumes, you're not going to be shocked, or it's just going to be kind of funny. So there's that. What's some updates to fill you up, fill you in on? Um, Brian was having tooth pain again. Big shock right there. Um, he actually, all his wisdom teeth are impacted. I think I've talked about this before or touched on it. So he actually recently just got the one up top, was decaying and causing a lot of issues. So he actually got that pulled out. And when he texted me and told me that they were pulling his tooth, his wisdom tooth, I was like, oh my God, do I gotta come pick you up? Cause you see all these videos and things like that where people say, like they can't drive and stuff like that but he actually drove home and he was fine he said the pain wasn't bad like at all so that was really good he was off work for a little bit for that um what else you guys this is terrible of me uh, i like to start like to me I, the way i start my holidays are like a month in advance so halloween I, I i was ready to start that back in like september so now christmas is coming and i'm like really pumped about christmas right now and i know I, I like i'm a big halloween fanatic and i love christmas too i love the feeling so i'm like i'm ready for christmas i've already been shopping um I bought some decor, which I may post in this video too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you, if I do, you by now already seen these clips or I might throw, actually what I'll do is I'll just post this first and then I'll throw the clips at the end so you guys can see. I bought some, um, Christmas things. What else? Yes, I started watching Hallmark Christmas movies last night. I have been trying to hold off and hold off. And I told myself, no, you better wait until the end, you know, November 1st but my tripod just kind of fell down. But um, I couldn't help myself, so I actually watched some Christmas movies last night. Um, well, I went and saw the new Halloween. I know a lot of you guys were like anticipating, wondering if we went and seen it. Yes, we did. My 
I loved it. I love the way I love the movie, but there's some things I would change. I thought some of the acting was a kind kind of cheesy. The kill scenes were pretty brutal. Um, there were some like short like comedy parts, so that was kind of funny. I I can appreciate because I'm such a huge fan of like the whole Michael Myers you know saga whatever um i can appreciate the fact that they brought in a ton of people from the very first halloween i love the fact that they did that so yeah my, i would give it a solid maybe eight eight out of ten i think brian absolutely loved it but i feel like if you're a huge fan of the movie i won't like go into detail and spoil it for some of you guys um i liked a lot of it just some of it i didn't like uh i think that's like all my updates for you guys um yeah so i have like a little haul i just went to walmart i'm just gonna show you a couple things that i bought because yeah. oh the lady she told me i bought these little pumpkin they're like uh glass tea light candle holders and i'm just gonna put them in our house my decor for halloween this year i went really minimal I just, my style has definitely evolved. I'm not into the, I'm still into it, but I'm not like crazy into the, um, like the studded pumpkins and everything. Like I like it, but it really doesn't fit like the decor of my home. So, um, but I don't want to part with it because like I used to really love it, but I have like nowhere to put it. So I bought two of these. They were $1.98. They had a ghost one. Um, they also had their Christmas stuff out, which I went and took a look at. I kind of want to do our tree a little bit different this year. I say this every year, like I want to do a different like way, but it all turns out being like the same and it's very glitzy and girly. I love Brian for letting me do that. Um, okay. So I got these sweatpants. These were in the pajama section and you can wear these out if you want. Uh, they have, I think they had a light pair. They had a few different prints, but this one stood out to me. These were $14. Well, 13 and some change. Super cute. Love them. They're like the jogger. And then um, you'll see in a clip after this, uh, I did buy some Christmas pajama pants. I could not resist. And they are $10. And then I went back and I actually looked for these ones. And um, they have like glitter, like a little glitter line. They're black, gray, and they have pink on them. So I bought them for $10 because they're extremely comfy and when it's getting cold out which right now I feel like we've skipped we this weather in Michigan is really crazy I mean it always is so this isn't a surprise to me but we go from 90 degree days to 60 now we're in the 50s and it's super gloomy and overcast so some other essentials that we get at Walmart we get these wipes I just get the value pack because you can literally never have enough of them and I'm sorry for all the crinkling noises Okay, so my shampoos constantly change. Um, as I like get older, I want my hair to be better. I want it, um, I don't wanna use like the super cheap shampoos cause I've heard like horrific things about it, which no shade if you use them because I still occasionally from time to time, I really love the, oh my gosh, it's in a green bottle. I can't think of the name. I love the way it made my hair feel. So I guess I'm kind of like being hypocritical a little bit because Whatever, I'm going off on a tangent. I digress. Brian's favorite shampoo in the world is this strawberry one. I cannot find it anywhere. So Walmart, I found it. Grabbed two bottles. We use some basic body wash. This is like our favorite one. So we just use the milk and honey. Um, I have had extreme, I'm, I have very bad acid reflux. And these one pills I have are doing absolutely no good. So I bought these ones. They really didn't have much to choose from, so I picked those ones out. I think I've had them before. And then I got me some conditioner, and you guys know I shave my legs with that every day. And if you have sensitive skin, I think you'll be all right. Okay, so what other exciting things did I get? Um, again, Walmart is the only place I see that has this. So when we get tacos one night, um, I like to get this Mexican rice right here. I cannot find this anywhere else, so this is my favorite one. I got two of those to have just a backup. Um, I've been drinking just straight water lately out of my water bottle. So I haven't been drinking lemonade as much, but when I have like a little craving for it, um, obviously you guys, if you've been OGs, you know that this is my go-to. I tried finding Brian's watermelon 
they don't have that. I got some plastic forks and spoons because um, I hate doing dishes. I won't sugarcoat it and I will not lie to you. Okay, so like a couple other boring things. Um, I got, I'm excited about this. I got some spray wash for my laundry in case I get a stain on my clothes or Brian's. And then I got fabric softener and this scent smelled super good. I have not used fabric softener in quite a few years. And I'm sorry, I keep looking at the TV because we got some, I think it's like Buffy the Vampire Slayer on TV. It's like the old 90s movie. Um, I haven't used fabric softener in years. And I do not dry my like work shirts. I don't like drying my clothes. Um, obviously besides pajamas I will. But drying like my clothes I don't like to do. And when I hang them up and wear them, they're like crunchy. So maybe this will help. I don't know, like stiff feeling. And I'm over that, so... And I got some dog food. Yeah, guys, pretty exciting stuff. Um, I went on Spirit Halloween's website. If you guys love trick or treat, you guys need to get on there. They have some really cute stuff. And I was going to order some things, but they were two small things. And they were going to charge me $20 shipping. And I was like, nah, bro, you can keep it. I'll go to the store and I'll find it. And yeah, I don't know. I'm really pumped for the holidays, guys. Like, I'm getting really into it especially Christmas I know some people hate that and cringe but I am that person I do really I do get really excited um yeah I think this is gonna be all my video so I'm just gonna throw some random clips in it for you and if you guys have any video suggestions let me know in the comments below and I'm probably gonna go live in a little bit so you guys are gonna see me here soon and I'm gonna film a video tonight but I'm actually gonna like do my hair and makeup Okay, guys, how'd I do? Did I not touch my hair a lot in the video? Because you guys always say, like, you touch your hair a lot, just like your sister. I'm like, it's like a nervous habit, guys. All right, I'm dipping now. Have a good weekend. Um, I hope you guys have a great Halloween if I don't have a video up by then, which hopefully I do. And um, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. So we got to clean this room up. I'm going to show you the before, and then we'll get to that. But I want to show you something about over the weekend. If you are a Ray Dunn collector and... You love Christmas. This may be something you're interested in. I got these sheets for our bed. It comes with these um, pillowcase. That's right. Okay. Um, so this, these, this is really cute. They are red, um, red and white. And I got this yesterday on Sunday. And I don't know when you guys are gonna see this, but I was really on the hunt for um, the Halloween. Ray Dunn um, sheets. I've searched, could not find it. So I'm like, whatever, it's just not meant to be. So here I am, Circle and Marshalls yesterday, and boom, right there. I see a lady pick them up, brings them to her cart, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Because I was the only one. And then I'm kind of watching her like a creep, and then she goes and puts it back up. And I'm like, thank heavens, you are mine. So I just bought it. And then, if I can't get enough Christmas, I bought these socks. Right on, of course. Cozy and warm. Let it snow. Jingle bells. And be merry. I am I have two. There's two other pair. I'm actually wearing the ones today. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I wear size 9 in shoes. 8.5 on a good day. And these, on my feet, you can kind of almost see. They're not the highest of quality. So... Just saying. I found these at the front register, so I bought them because I love Christmas, and I jump seasons so fast, like Halloween isn't even here yet, but I also bought this little nutcracker for my tree upstairs in my room. I'm going to put this on, and I think the theme I'm going to go for is, like, big surprise here, guys, glitzy, pink, um, like, sweets and all that, so I got this one, super cute, Hobby Lobby, if you guys want to know. I bought this, um, I actually have this for a tree downstairs, it's super cute, we'll probably buy more of those, they only have the one I do believe, um, hold on, this, super cute, they had a couple, and I picked this one up, and they were 40% off, they always have deals, don't buy it when it's full price, and then, this is my all time favorite one, so cute, I don't even know, I, it feels like it might be plastic, but then again, it feels glass. No, it's, some of it's glass, or it might all be. And I love the hat. It's going to look super cute on my tree, and I'll take you guys along with me while, when I decorate it. But 
I bought these for now. Okay, so I'm going to show you what my room looks like, and it's a mirror. This right here is like my vanity spot. Um, we gotta fix this up, and yeah, super messy. Right here is a stool that I fill full of clothes and towels. My nail polish is on the ground. I have a mirror. <laughs> um, my treadmill literally has turned into a clothing rack, which we need to fix that situation. Look at that. Another basket full of clothes that I need to go through, and we're going to put them in the dresser. Um, I have earrings that I keep right here on this little cork board, and they I hit it, and they fell. And then if you look here, this is just a jumbled mess. Sorry, the lighting's kind of crappy. And then right here, I mean, where do I even and begin? That's like the disaster we have. And then garbage. And did I ever show you guys this? Yeah, I have them hanging. I'm not sure if I like it. Tell me what you guys think. But for now, they're right there. And... Yeah, this is just, this has got to get fixed. I can't take it. So I'll take you through and I'll show you what after looks like. Okay, so I totally forgot to show you the room. Okay, so this is my vanity. To some of you may be like, Shelby, that's still pretty cluttered. Listen, it's an organized, it's a cluttered, organized mess, if you will. So got that all fixed up. Um, right now, some of my purses have to stand in there. Because if you look up, um, I guess I can organize that too. But, yeah, this is just some of the stuff I have. And then you go over here, my tree. I just threw the ornaments on there because whatever. That's not how they're going to stay. But for now, that's, that's what we have. Then all that, I have a box um, with some fall decor and then some pants and the sheets. Got that good. The treadmill. And then moved all of that stuff. Uh, I found actually a yoga mat holder I'm going to go buy. So I can have that put up so it's not like awkwardly sitting there. I cleaned this up a little bit. Dusted it. Super cute. Look at that. In case you guys ever wanted to see. This is probably one of the favorite things I have in my room. The skull fell. And then, um, as you can see, like, one of my subscribers sent me that. Um, I have, if you look throughout the room, some of the, uh, my subscribers have actually sent me some decor in that. And then, there's that stuff. My closet, super small. Looks messy, but it actually is pretty organized. And then, you go here, and it's okay. It works. It works for now. This is how I have my stuff, and then... All my makeup and all that. I have to clean my mirror up. I tried getting that spot off from my makeup. And I'm going to have to get something harder to get it off. Then I have my little greeter. And then I put my phone cases and stuff in there. Little jewelry box. And then I have these up here. Don't know if I'm going to like keep it forever. But yeah. Oh, and if you see my treadmill in the back, that's all my towels I got to bring downstairs. So... So far as I, a lot better than what it was, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself. We're going to be carving pumpkins tonight, guys, slash painting. And I will show you the after. Make sure you're during, too. We'll see how it goes. So we just, 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 just.